doesn't matter who your family is. It doesn't matter how much money you have or people think you have. It doesn't matter what you think, how prominent you are. If you do wrong, if you break the law, if you murder, then justice will be done in South Carolina. And I think South Carolina has shown the nation and the world how a process can work and work well. Thank you all. Tonight, disbarred Lowcountry attorney Alec Murdoch, now a convicted killer. In the same courtroom, his family once tried cases of their own in. Murdoch was found guilty of murdering his wife Maggie and their son Paul. Now, you just heard from lead prosecutor Creighton Waters about how justice will be served here in South Carolina, regardless of who you think you are. After 28 long days of trial, the jury came to a quick conclusion. Our Blair Sable was at the courthouse and explains how both sides reacted to the speedy verdict. Guilty on all counts. It took the jury less than three hours to come to that unanimous decision, finding that Alec Murdoch, beyond a reasonable doubt, killed his own family members. Following the verdict, the entire prosecution team was met with cheers outside of the courthouse. South Carolina Attorney General Alan Wilson claimed victory for the state flanked by the entire team. Lead prosecutor in the case Creighton Waters wanted to send a message to the world that no one is above the law. It doesn't matter who your family is. It doesn't matter how much money you have or people think you have. It doesn't matter what you think, how prominent you are. If you do wrong, if you break the law, if you murder, then justice will be done in South Carolina. And I think South Carolina has shown the nation and the world how a process can work and work well. The defense quickly left the courthouse, Dick Carpootlian expressing disappointment in the decision, but providing no further comment. Murdoch will spend the night in the Colleton County Detention Center where he will await sentencing tomorrow morning. Murdoch is facing 30 years in prison to life without the possibility for parole for each murder charge. Court begins here at 930 tomorrow. Reporting in Colleton County, South Carolina, I'm Blair Sable. Our Michael Higdon was inside the courtroom when that verdict was being read and tells us what the atmosphere was like. I would say about 40 to 50 people hung out uh, side the courtroom as the jury was deliberating for the two and a half hours uh, and then were let back into the courtroom for the verdict. And as soon as they got in and settled, the bailiff went to them making an announcement saying there would be absolutely no cheering, there would be no comments whether they agreed with the verdict or not, or they would be escorted out of the courtroom. When Alec was brought into the courtroom, he didn't look nervous. He was talking with his defense attorneys. When the verdict was read, though, he didn't show any emotion. He looked at some of the jurors as they were going down the line and saying guilty was their verdict, but then would quickly look down. Buster, Alec's surviving son, could be seen wiping away tears. Once the judge told Alec that he had been found guilty, a sheriff's deputy pulled out his handcuffs and started cuffing Alec in the courtroom, which is the first time we've seen that. Alec turned around and was looking at Buster, nodding his head, and you could see tears in his eyes as I think reality finally hit that he would be going to jail. Attorney General Alan Wilson said justice was served tonight. Our criminal justice system worked tonight. It gave a voice to Maggie and Paul Murdoch, who were brutally mowed down and murdered on the night of June 7, 2021, by someone that they loved and someone that they trusted. And they couldn't be here to testify for themselves tonight. Their testimony came through the evidence and the information that was gathered by the men and women of the agencies I've just mentioned. It came uh, from the testimony of the agents and the investigators and the, and the attorneys and the uh, folks in our staff who were able to get it to the court record. And so I, I want to say tonight, their voice was heard tonight and justice was brought for them. We can't bring them back, but we can bring them justice. Buster, his girlfriend Brooklyn, Lynn, Alex's sister, and her husband were in the courtroom as that, that verdict was read, and then they were escorted out uh, by Colleton County Sheriff's deputies. No word on it. They will be back here for the uh, sentencing tomorrow. Reporting in Colleton County, I'm Michael Higdon.
And minutes after the jury found Murdoch guilty, dozens of bystanders and people who have been following the trial since the very beginning shared their thoughts outside of the courtroom. A crowd gathered as the prosecution team shared that they were thankful, like we just heard, that Alec Murdoch was found guilty and the six-week-long trial had finally come to an end. Bystanders shared hugs, they took photos, they called loved ones to share their experience uh, witnessing what some call was one of the largest trials in South Carolina's history. Justin Bamberg is an attorney who represents victims in Murdoch's financial crimes, and he says the jurors fortunately did not fall for Alex's lies. I think that um, for me it restores faith, right? I believe in the, the justice system, the judicial system, right? But Alec is somebody who's benefited from all of the bad parts of it. And to see him held accountable, you know, this whole trial, the only thing running through my mind was I hope they don't fall for his lie. Again, Judge Newman said sentencing will begin tomorrow morning at 930. We'll, of course, have a team out in Walterboro again to bring you the latest details uh, as that is handed down. Alec Murdoch's sentence, 30 years to life in prison for each murder charge. We've also learned that Murdoch's defense team will speak publicly for the first time since the start of the trial tomorrow after the sentencing. Updates on that as soon as it happens.